हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बायर्स अवर्स लॉ एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशंस लेट्स एगेन बायर्स अवर्स लॉ इज बेसिकली यूज टू डिटरमाइन द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ एट एनी पॉइंट ड्यू टू ए स्मॉल करेंट एलिमेंट which is a part of current carrying conductor look here when a charge is at stationary it gives rise to electric field but when that charge moves with a constant velocity thus produces a magnetic field as current is nothing but the flow of charge that's why when a current is passed through a conductor means that produces a magnetic field throughout this a current carrying conductor produces a magnetic field and if you, we consider a point in inside that magnetic field the magnetic field strength at that point can be calculated by using bayer's savart's law let we have to consider a thin conducting wire xy along which current i is passing we divide the current distribution into current elements to calculate the magnetic field distribution to each current element at that point due to that current a magnetic field is created here i prefer a point p that divided into a number of current elements let's here i take a small portion which is dl so in that portion i dl i into dl is known as the current element and the magnetic field due to that current element here that point p is at a distance r vector and the angle between that ideal and r b theta ideal the current element and magnetic field due to that current element at that point p let d be is the magnetic field strength magnetic field due to current element so bayer's savart's law give the idea what should be the magnetic field at point p due to that current element according to his law the magnitude of magnetic field intensity or magnetic flux density which is known as db at p due to that current element ideal is given as db is directly proportional to i directly proportional to that of current 
and directly proportional to the length of that elementary segment dl length of that elementary segment and again directly proportional to the sine of the angle between the direction of current and the line joining the element to that point p means sin theta theta is the angle in between these two here the direction of dl is that of the tangent to the conductor and that is very very similar to that of direction of electric current and also that is inversely proportional to the square of the distance r vector from the point p to the elementary segment that is 1 by r square on combining these four equations combining all the above equations we have the db is directly proportional to i dl sin theta divided by r square so here we introduce the proportionally constant k i dl sin theta divided by r square here that proportionally constant k that is the proportionality constant that value is equal to mu not by 4 phi mu not which is known as the permeability of free space and that proportionality constant depend upon the nature of that of medium around the current and also the system of units used to determine the various physical quantities in that of case here that is the magnitude of magnetic field strength this is the magnitude but in vector form we can write it as db is equal to k i dl cross r divided by r q how dl cross r that is dl r sin theta sin theta is the angle between dl and r in place of r the magnitude r can be written as r vector its magnitude and its direction r into r cap so here r cap can be substituted as r vector divided by r at that section the unit vector r cap is replaced as r vector by r that's why that equation becomes dl cross r divided by rq in place of r cap 
you substitute that one that is the vector form notation again that can further be written as d b is equal to k i d l cross r cap again in place of r vector we write that is its magnitude and its direction so r cap 1 r 1 r cancel out that will be r square these two equations magnetic field strength or we can say that is the bias of law in vector form how exactly that equation derived here i write db vector is written as k i dl sin theta by r square into r cap its direction that's why in place of r cap we substitute i d l sin theta r vector divided by r q k i d l r sin theta that's why d l cross r divided by r q in this way that equation is derived so it's the magnitude factor that is the direction term in place of direction term we substitute that quantity finally we have that form these two are the vector notation of bias of law look here the strength of uh, magnetic field intensity dv due to that current element is zero at all points on the axis of the element because here at that of axis theta will be zero when theta will be zero that sign term vanishes therefore dv is zero here again that will be maximum when theta will be maximum sin theta maximum at 90 degree when that theta is 90 degree db is maximum at the points from the given distance r from the current element in a plane passing through that of element and perpendicular to its axis that axis at that axis if that is the current carrying wire if we measure that magnetic field intensity at that point so this is the perpendicular distance so the plane passing through this the plane passing through this section the magnetic field strength is maximum here look at the equation the direction of db is calculated by using dl cross r this is the vector product so the direction of dl cross r is nothing the direction of db and that can be obtained by using right hand screw rule or we can say right hand thumb rule for a vector product the direction of dl cross r direction of db that is dl cross r can be found out 
by using right hand screw rule or right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule of vector product this is the magnitude term that is the direction here bertsauer's law can have different forms different forms of bertsauer's law different forms bertsauer's law we know the current density current density j is equal to current for unit area i be the current a be the area let i introduce here i just multiply and divide dl IDL divided by ADL, IDL ADL area into small elementary length that is the volume element dv, j is equal to dv. So in place of IDL is replaced as j dv. IDL is replaced as j dv. Now that form of uh, Bayer-Savart's law in place of IDL I substitute j vector. Therefore, dv is equal to dv is equal to k j cross r vector divided by r q dv. In place of ideal, I substitute j vector dv. That's the another form of Bayer-Savart's law in terms of current density. Next form, in terms of charge and velocity. As you say that current element, current element that is ideal which is equal to in place of current I can write dq by dt. So, as there will be the charge q, here charge divided by time dt into dl. So, dl by dt that is nothing that is the velocity term dl by dt. Ideal is equal to qv. In place of ideal, I substitute qv. Therefore, dv magnet field intensity is equal to k. Q V cross R divided by R Q. This is the bayer savart's law in terms of charge and velocity. Since that bayer savart's law obeys the inverse square law, this is the inverse square law is obeyed by bayer savart's law that describes the magnet field intensity due to a current element we may view the law of magnetic uh, equivalent of coulomb's law which also based the inverse square law that describes the electric field due to charge element in case of coulomb's law that obey the inverse square law here in ca case of bayer savart's law that obey the inverse square law in this way bayer savart's law is analogous to coulomb's law by using the bayer savart's law we can calculate the magnetic field intensity at a point due to a current carrying wire or anything else how to calculate the total magnetic field intensity at that point first we have to calculate
the observation point and its position then we consider the current element ideal then find out the magnetic field intensity that is db due to that current element ideal and by using that expression and we have to integrate by using proper limits to get the total magnetic field intensity at that point due to that entire section. This is basics of Bayer Savart's law and that used to help to find out the magnetic field intensity at a point due to that current element. Next, the applications of Bayer Savart's law. Application 1, magnetic field due to an infinitely long state conductor carrying current. Here, consider an infinitely straight wire carrying current I from minus infinity to plus infinity from minus infinity to plus infinity. Look here how we say infinitely long exactly in physics infinitely means that is uh, an idealization of a real current means the if we taking into consideration of wires which can be straight but they are never infinite in length when the distance of observational point is small if we cal take the observational point here the distance of observational point is small as compared to that of length of the wire then we can consider that wire is infinite in such a case magnetic field due to that wire will be equal to the magnetic field due to the current in an infinite straight line ok that is the idealization of infinite long straight conductor let a point P be a point at a perpendicular distance x from the conductor where the strength of magnetic field is to be determined. At point P we have to find out the strength of magnetic field as current is flown through that of conductor. So, it produces a magnetic field therefore, the magnetic field strength can be calculated here. Let the conductor to be divided into a large number of current elements and uh, consider one such element a b the distance b d l of that of current element it will be ideal and which is at a distance of l from O we divide that conductor a large number of current elements and consider one such current element a b having the length d l at a distance of l from the point O and let r vector be the position vector of that point 
P with respect to that current element and theta with the angle which is the position vector max with that DL. Let the point O be the origin. That's why that is the x axis, that will be the y axis, it will be the y dash section, that will be the y section. Now, we use the Bayer's Savart's law, the magnetic field intensity, magnetic field intensity dv at that observational point p due to that small element ab. So, dv which is the magnetic field intensity at point p due to that small element ab that is equal to k i dl cross r cap divided by r square here we use the bias average law here k be the constant of proportionality and its value will be the mu naught by 4 pi in si system where mu naught is the permeability of free space that we know so the magnitude of magnetic field intensity db is given as its magnitude that is k i d l sin theta divided by r square. Look here in triangle O A P in triangle O A P Here is the distance x that makes an angle phi with this. So, tan phi tan phi is equal to a o by o p a o by o p the tan phi here a o is equal to o p into tan phi. So, a o is the length l o p is equal to x tan phi. Now, differentiating that length, now differentiating we have d l is equal to derivative of x d phi that is derivative of x tan phi sorry x tan phi that is x six square phi d phi that for a dl look here also cos phi cos of phi is equal to op divided by ap op divided by ap or cos phi is equal to op is equal to x and ap is equal to r here r is equal to x by cos phi which is equal to x into sec phi and the value of theta is equal to 90 minus phi as 
थीटा प्लस फाय इज इक्वाल टू नाइंटी डिग्री एंड द सम ऑफ थ्री एंगल्स आर वन एटी नाइंटी थीटा प्लस फाय इज इक्वाल टू वन एटी सो थीटा प्लस फाय इज इक्वाल टू नाइंटी सो थीटा इज इक्वाल टू नाइंटी माइनस फाय थीटा इज इक्वाल टू नाइंटी माइनस फाय सिंस द वेरिएशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ फाय देर फोर द थीटा टर्म्स कैन बी रिप्लेसड इन वेरिएशन ऑफ फाय By using these substitutions here, we have or dB is equal to k i in place of dL x six square phi d phi. In place of sine theta, that is ninety minus phi divided by r square, that is x square six square phi x square six square phi, or magnitude of dB is equal to k i cos phi. से स्क्वायर फाइ से स्क्वायर फाइ कैंसल आउट वन एक्स वन एक्स कैंसल आउट दैट इज साइन नाइंटी माइनस थीटा दैट इज कॉस फाइ कॉस फाइ डी फाइ डिवाइडेड बाय एक्स नाउ बाय इंटीग्रेटिंग बोथ साइड्स बाय यूजिंग इट्स Boundary conditions. Let phi be changed from phi one to phi two. Now integrating both sides. Within the limits. of minus phi 1 to plus phi as from negative infinity to positive infinity minus phi 1 to plus phi 2 we have B is equal to. This is the magnitude. That is k i divided by x and the change in phi. So cos phi d phi from phi one that is minus phi one to plus phi two. So b is equal to k i by x integration of cos phi that is sin phi sin by using the limits here phi two minus of sin minus phi one upper limit minus lower limit. Sine of minus theta, that is minus sine theta. B is equal to k i by x sine phi two plus sine phi one. This one be the expression which gives the magnitude of magnetic field intensity. Due to that uh, current carrying straight conductor of finite length, here the length should be finite. As you define the limits, the infinite straight wire would 
only as we say that is the idealization situation where the point of observation is very small as compared to that length of the wire. Now, it has uh, various special cases. So, the special cases here, special cases as phi 1 and phi 2 condition 1 when phi 1 is equal to phi 2 be pi by 2 means that from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 here sin pi by 2 is equal to 1 then sin pi by 2 is equal to 1 therefore the field strength v is equal to k i divided by x sin pi by 2 plus sin pi by 2 and is sin pi by 2 plus sin pi by 2 and is 1 plus 1 2 k i by x 1 plus 1 or b is equal to 2 k i by x when an another special case when phi 1 is equal to pi by 2 and uh, phi 2 is equal to 0 degree phi 1 at 90 but phi 2 at 0 degree in that case, the magnetic field strength B is equal to k i by x sin pi by 2 plus sin 0 that is 0, this sin 0, sin 91 k i by x that is 1 plus 0. So, field strength B is equal to k i by x. Next, when phi 1 is at pi and phi 2 is at pi, when phi 1 is at pi and uh, phi 2 is at pi, then the value of b is equal to sin pi 0, sin pi 0, that is k by k i by x sin pi plus sin pi. So, b is equal to 0. These are the special cases by using that particular equation. This is the magnitude of magnetic field intensity, but the direction of that field strength b, the direction, direction of b is nothing that the direction of magnetic field B is determined by the right hand uh, thumb rule of the cross product as D L cross R, B L cross R, D L cross R, R cap. When we use D L cross R, D L cross r at point p will be perpendicular to that of plane of paper here we use the right hand screw rule so from dl to r dl to r that is anti clockwise sense so that is perpendicular to the plane of that paper and which is lie in that of x y plane. So, the magnetic field B will acting along that of negative z axis. Hence, the expression for the magnetic field intensity B due to an infinitely long stretch conductor carrying current in vector notation it will be written in this way as we say B vector is equal to minus 2 k i 
बाई एक्स के आई बाई एक्स इंटू के कैप दैट के कैप इज द यूनिट वेक्टर एलंग जे डिरेक्शन दैट इज द नेगेटिव सिंस हियर इफ वी अप्लाई डी एल क्रॉस आर डी एल क्रॉस आर दैट इज द क्लॉक वाइज सेंस दैट इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द प्लेन ऑफ पेपर बट इन नेगेटिव जे डिरेक्शन दिस इज द वेक्टर फॉर्म ऑफ दैट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी ड्यू टू दैट करेंट कैरिंग स्ट्रेट वेयर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू एन इनफानाइट लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट कंडक्टर कैरिंग करेंट बाई यूजिंग बैड सा पॉइंट पी मैग्नेटिक फील्ड स्ट्रेंथ दीज आर दब्सटिट्यूशन पुटिंग दिज एंड बाई यूजिंग प्रॉपर लिमिट्स द वैल्यू दीज आर द स्पेशल केसेस एंड दैट इज द वेक्टर नोटेशन अनदर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बैड सावर्स लॉ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू ए करेंट कैरिंग लूफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू ए करेंट कैरिंग लूफ कंसिडर ए सिंगल सर्कुलर वेयर सिंगल सर्कुलर वेयर ऑफ रेडियस आर दैट लाइंग इन वाइज रेड फ्लेन हैविंग इट्स सेंटर एट ओरिजिन ओ लेट पी विद ऑब्जर्वेशनल पॉइंट On that of axial line, that is the x direction. Axial line of that circular coil that carry the current I. at a distance x from the origin the point of observation is at a distance x from that of origin or that of coil therefore op is equal to x to determine the magnetic field intensity at point p consider the coil to be divided into large number of small current elements that divided into large number of small current elements let considering a current element here ab as it is bds that length see the direction of length that is tangent to that of line that is same as that of direction of current let the current element ab of length dl to be situated at a distance r from that point p and the current loop idl the elementary current be idl points perpendicular out of that of paper here there will be the current carrying loop means the ring like structure here and the direction of that idl is perpendicular perpendicular out of that of paper the direction is here and the angle between dl and r vector is perpendicular to the plane of paper as that r vector lies on that of plane of paper the angle between dl and r 
are perpendicular with each other means r vector is lie on that of the r vector is perpendicular to that of plane of paper but r is lie in that of plane of paper now we have to apply the bayer savars law to calculate the magnetic field intensity b vector due to that current carrying element ab at point p so here db the magnetic field strength at point p due to that current carrying element ideal of that portion ab is equal to k i dl cross r dl cross r cap that notation we use dl cross r cap divided by r square since dl and r are perpendicular to with each other that expression will be ki dl divided by r square where k be the proportional constant and that value be mu not by 4 pi mu not where as in the permeability of free space as per the right hand screw rule for the cross product of db vector is at right angles to that of plane containing dl and r its direction will be dl cross r plane containing dl and r so b vector lies on that of plane of paper and a normal to that of r vector so the d b vector that lie in that plane of paper and normal to that of r vector the angle between r vector this is the direction of db db is the magnetic field strength at point p due to that of elementary current now that db can be resolved the two ways here is the axis that is the angle theta here this is the angle between r vector and dl this theta that angle b theta here since that entire will be 90 degree that is theta so that will be theta the resolving that uh, db into two rectangular components we have db cos theta here put some db cos theta at that section db sin theta db cos theta which is perpendicular to that of axial line of the coil and db sin theta which is parallel to the axis of the coil where theta is the angle between r vector that makes with the axial line of that of coil at point p look here again due to the symmetry of the coil about the axis every point of length dl has an equal and opposite element so if here we consider the another element ads bds and let the magnetic field strength at point p due to that element section elementary current it is angle theta let that will be the db dash so db dash magnitude db dash with the magnetic field strength at point p due to that elementary section ads v dash and the field strength db dash due to that current element ads v dash has the same magnitude 
as that of due to that elementary section a b but the direction will be opposite the magnitude will be same d b dash is same as d b here the direction is just opposite that is d b dash again we resolve it that vector into two ways one is d b dash cos theta another one is d b sin theta here d b dash is equal to d b so d b cos theta and d b sin theta here d b sin theta look at that section d b cos theta d b cos theta this two are equal and opposite so d b cos theta term cancel with each other and d b sin theta term just added now the net magnetic field intensity at point p due to that current carrying circular coil here total magnetic field b is equal to integration of d b cos theta term plus integration of d b sin theta term look here the d b cos theta term will be zero why as the y components being equal and opposite that cancel with each other only the x component means d b sin theta components are exist as y components being equal and opposite that cancel with each other cancel with each other so the magnetic field strength only due to db sin theta from that of figure look here from that of figure sin theta is equal to capital r by small r in triangle op a o p a so sin theta is equal to capital r by r or or sin theta is equal to capital r divided by in place of small r in place of small r by using pythagoras theorem that is r square plus x square square root that is r square plus x square square root now in place of sin theta we substitute that one here integration over db the value of db that is k i dl r square k i dl by r square and sin theta b r divided by r square plus x square under root is equal to k i r divided by r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 here half and in place of r square again we substitute that is r square plus x square square root whole square that is r square plus x square that term will be r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 inside that of bracket sorry in that of integration it will be dl 
the integration of entire length dl that is nothing that is the circumference of that of circular coil therefore integration of dl is equal to the circumference of that circular coil that is 2 pi capital r is equal to k i r divided by r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 here as we take r is equal to r square plus x square under root therefore that term is equal to 2 pi r 2 pi r k 2 pi i r square whole divided by r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 pi r square where pi r square is equal to a that is the area of that circular loop area of circular loop is equal to k 2 i a divided by r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 again i into a which is known as magnetic dipole moment p of m magnetic dipole moment therefore b vector is equal to k 2 p m vector divided by r square plus x square to the power 3 by 2 that expression gives rise to the magnet field intensity at point p due to that current carrying loop there are special cases special cases when the observation point p lies on the center of that coil means distance x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 that is the observation point the observation point is at center of the coil b will be k 2 p m divided by r q x will be 0 another special case when the observation point p lies too away from that of coil means when x is very very greater than r that is the observation point observation point is at two away from the center of the coil center of the coil the expression will be b is equal to k 2 p m divided by x q we just neglect r the expression for that point the magnetic field due to that current carrying coil and its special cases so 
with the help of this video lecture we understand what is Byers Savard's law in which condition we use the Byers Savard's law its mathematical form its scalar and its vector notation and direction of that magnetic field intensity and various forms of Byers Savard's law and applications of Byers Savard's law to calculate magnetic field due to an infinitely long state conductor carrying current and its special cases. And again, another application that is magnetic field due to current carrying loop. Its mathematical expression and its special cases. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.